Hi, this is Chris Bonner from the Love Portland Group at Hassan Company Realtors. And I just thought I'd check in with my current and past clients and do a little update on the market. I know I've had a lot of phone calls from folks curious what's going on. So I thought this would be a, a good effective way to keep people posted. And if you want future updates, you can subscribe to this channel. So right now, what we're doing is sharing statistics on our website, loveportland.com. If you look at recent market stats on there, we are tracking things weekly in terms of what's being listed, what's going pending and what's being sold so you can kind of see what's happening in each micro market. Bottom line, we've seen a reduction in both listings and pendings, but the market is still functioning. And as the governor did declare real estate an essential service, we've all had to do a lot of quick thinking about how to do our job remotely or practicing social distancing. So doing a lot of Zoom conference calls, wearing masks and gloves. We've been working remotely since the 10th of March. I'm just trying to get creative in terms of assisting our clients in this tricky time. Generally speaking, the financing uh, situation is stable. I do want to give a shout out to anybody who's having trouble making their mortgage payment to check into the mortgage forbearance programs that are going on. So if you have any questions, you can call us or check our website under COVID-19 resources. We have some links to programs you can take part in to help out if that's a financial hardship for you. Want to make sure this disruption of the market does not cause any more housing instability than we already have. So feel free free to reach out if you, you need anything. But on the subject of new mortgages, the only disruption I've seen at this point is that jumbo loans, which are those loans over 510000 and are not backed by the government, have been a little trickier to find. They are still available, but we're having to shift sometimes from one lender to another to make sure that our clients have access to those. So that's been a little bit of a shift, you know, other than the slowing of the market. That's, that's kind of where we're at. Interestingly, I'm still encountering multiple offers, prices being bid up over list price. It's been a little bit curious, honestly, to see how this is going to play out. But bottom line, I think a lot of folks feel like if they were in the market to buy a home, they're even more motivated now in terms of having a comfortable place for them and their family. And interest rates are still super low. So I think that's still driving quite a bit of um, demand. I just want to let you know that everyone on the team is, is healthy and safe and we're practicing social distancing, masks and gloves, and making sure that we don't contribute to any of the spreading of the virus. You may have noticed why we stopped doing broker opens and realtor uh, public opens right around the 20th of March. Uh, we stopped doing them before then, but that was when the entire real estate community agreed not to do open houses, which I think was a really smart move. So those are the couple things that I've noticed that have changed. Again, feel free to reach out if you have specific questions, subscribe to this channel, and we can keep you posted. So on behalf of the entire Love Portland team, Lee McKnight, Matthew Sohoyas, Jana Vazelchek, and Jesse Manis. I want to say stay safe out there and thanks for checking in.